today. That's check out Judy Dore. It is their collaboration with Disney. Look at the box. It designed like a suitcase. It's cardboard itself, but look at the print. Oh, it's so cute. And they open from here. I did open it, but I haven't used it. So today, first impression. Put this. And look at inside. This time the design is very attention to details. For example, although I opened the back, yeah, but originally it would be look like this when you received it. Oh, I think this is for Disney's 100 year celebration. First one is their seven colors face palette. The color is 16. As you guys know, I have the contour and the highlighting palette, which is really, really good. So this time you can choose different package. And this was one of the options that include in a different box. Uh, as I have this one, so I chose this palette instead. This is more for highlighting. So it says this is for contour, matte highlight, cream highlight. This is for brightening. As you can tell, the color is more towards blue based. And also look at the details. Look at the carving here. Oh! If you're a Disney fan, you will definitely, definitely like this one. And there are four lip mart color from P30 to P33. And let me show you. Isn't it cute? And this is the inside. And there is also a, I know what it is. It's like a wristband, but it's more for preventing water to go over your arm. This is really good. I have four, four sets of it. Oh my God, look at this. And then I give you a card and a sample, or oh, four samples of their cream foundation, which I used before. Foundation is comme si comme ça. Okay, let's use them on the face. That's a start from the uh, contour and the highlighting palette. Oh, look at the, I haven't shown you the front yet. Donald Duck. Who wouldn't like Donald Duck? The powder is really, really fine. This is the contour color from the Disney palette. And this is color from the original contour and highlighting palette, my color is 02. Uh, this one, the new one, is, it is more towards gray. It has more ash gray in there, but it's still neutral, neutral enough. Contour, matte highlight, brightening color, which is more have a blue under, undertone. And this is the cream highlight. Myself, I don't particularly use cream highlight uh, as I have combined oily skin, so I prefer more matte finish. But for today's purpose, well, I've already set with powder, but let's see if I'm gentle enough. This may not ruin my foundation. <laughs> oh, I really like the finish. It's so subtle. It's not like a normal cream highlighter. You would see a sharp sheen on it straight away. It literally look like you have healthy skin glow. I think the, the reflection, the glow, I really, really like. But I think it would perform even better before you set the powder. I think it does jam a little bit with my um, face powder. Although you can't really tell from the camera, but I can see. <laughs> from the mirror. I need to use on its own just to see if it's emphasize your skin condition or not. Okay, let's use the contour, which is this one. I do here, as I got a big spot here. Oh, I think this color may actually work out better than 
then the other palette like then this one this one is more suitable for warmer tone but i think this one is more for more cool tone but still work very well on me okay before we do side of the face i really want to try the matte highlight Uh, I have to say, based on first impression, the powder's quality, the fineness, which is really good because for my under eye, instead of make it look heavy and cakey, it actually smoothen out more. Considering my age, with the fine lines, very friendly for pores. If I get close enough, can you guys see the pores area over here? It's being like added filter. It's really good. Okay, let's try the more blue based one. And to be honest, in this more blue lavender base, the color Yvonne suits everyone. It's more beneficial for yellow undertone and not too dark skin, if you know what I mean. Dotted in the middle. Okay, and powder quality is good. Uh, I think I need to use this separately. Putting this on top of the matte highlight powder, I think it's not as visible as I hoped. But one thing which is good, as you guys can see from the camera, it doesn't turn out gray on my face. It's very subtle. Ah, I think now you guys see better on the face. It's very natural shading color. Let's move on to this one, which is there. I call the seven colors palette, and my color is 16. All the product details I will put in the description box. If I can find the link, I will also include it as well. The pigmentation is medium towards high and the powder I have to say is, is very fine and merge onto the skin quite well. This one, although there is like a goldy base color, but if you just gently tap, it will become like a very, uh, just like a dusted sparkle on your eyes instead of showing this much base colors. But this one is more like a sheen. This is also a like a satin finish, but with the glitters in there. The rest are matte. For Judy Dawes Seven Colors Palettes, so I have my confidence because I own quite a lot. Judy Dawes Seven Colors Palettes, the standard concept normally is those four are for eyeshadows. This is normally for blush and the two are for highlighting purpose. But of course you can mix and match that. What I normally do is I actually like to use the blush color as a base for the eyes as well as blush to kind of merge all in one. Same, zoom you in. You see the color performance is quite effective. I'm going to do a very simple eye look, daily use, my kind of like a to-go eye look. And then same color, apply for the bottom eyelash, zigzag, then drag it downwards. Just let it gently disappear. As we're going to use the same color for the blush, so don't worry that if you extend it too much, just gently zigzag down that to gently disappear that's the base down and then i'm going to jump to the blush before finish the eye look dip into the blush color apply it on the blush area then go in sweep on the eyelid then connect the blush look like all in one can you see the difference from this side compared to this side that's something i really like natural daylight because um you know i've been debating whether i should get artificial lights which would really help me to feel me in the evening kind of you know 
multitasking my timing wise but i still feel artificial lights you, you need to be a little bit you know have a professional knowledge in terms of giving a best lighting but still reflecting as real as possible color reflection and the true result on the face i still feel with natural daylight is the easiest way to actually reflecting a true color and the presentation that for you guys is literally like you see me in person sorry i digressed again <laughs> okay let's go for this one then start from the out corner again zigzag but just in a smaller area going upwards and then inwards follow the lash line towards the inner corner and zigzag up a little bit Then same color for the lower lash line. Okay, I'm going to win it out first by using the darkest color in the palette. Okay, use a very small brush, dip into the uh, dip into the highlighting powder. This is more like a light champagne sheen color. Just highlighting the fake eye back into corner. Dip into this one. Then only just intensify the out corner. It's pretty much finished. I really like the dark color. A very effective. See, I, I haven't even done my eyeliner for the waterline. I think I don't need it. Just need the gel liner to wing out just slightly. Before finish, let's put this on. Oh, can you guys see? The reflection is really nice. See, from normal distance, the blush color, I really like it. It's very much my cup of tea is very natural goes with most of the skin tones oh this one okay let's do the lip mark 30 31 32 33 i purposely did more thick layer on the top and the thinner it down to show you guys what would be like thin layer look like and when you have a full color showing on your lip what would be The formula, there is nothing special. It's just very much a typical lip mud. But I have to say, 30 and 32, especially after it's settled a bit, it's very um, alike of each other, right? They're all a bit like a rosy berry color. Uh, 30, this one, is has more like smoky petal in here. Here is more berry red. As still star from uh, P30. This is the applicator. P30. Fairly standard, it's very similar, like Juicy, for example, into you lip mud. I just personally feel that very similar color designs, outcomes, presentations, and the formula. It is lightweight, but you definitely need to remove your dead skin before you use this. See here. It emphasizes your dead skin <laughs> quite badly. Next one is 31. This is more like my cup of tea. I would favor this color over any type of a berry based colors. Lip lines, yeah, it does. Let's get this color set for a couple of minutes and let's see whether it transfers or not. Okay, let's see. It has transfers and uh, no much impact on the lip. However, it just you feel the the color saturation or the pigment has sheer layer reduced. Just by about 2%, 2 to 5%. And this one is 32. I have to say, surprisingly, 
although this is much more brighter berry red I actually prefer this one over 30 I think if you go for a little bit more like a pink based eye look like more subtle eye look this one will look very nice okay coming to the last 33 this is 33 compared to the previous one 32 it has it added a little bit more gray in there which made this color I would say would suit more skin tone and suits more age range <laughs> like myself I would personally between these two colors I would go for this one 33 would most suit my age and my personality it bring a little bit more steady matureness in there those four colors are nice but common I think I can easily find dupes from at least a lot of Chinese lip mart brand and guys if you don't know Judy Do this brand start from their eyeshadow palettes or powder based product I would highly highly recommend their contour palette and seven colored face palette this one can be used for full face and you can also use this dark one as a brow powder as well for beginners or normal people like us don't really know about the color combinations for example if you use those colors to finish your entire makeup your makeup will not go wrong at least on color combinations overall based just on first impression I do feel this one is definitely worth its money. It's very, very good value for money, especially if you want to start trying Judy Do this brand. This is a very, very good box to start your journey with this brand. It's kind of includes its iconic products in there. Okay, that's come to the end of today's video. You know what I'm going to say. Please, please, if you like today's video, click the thumb up and the most importantly to subscribe my channel down here. I have more videos to see you guys and I will see you on my next one.